Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kim and if you're new, welcome, welcome. And um, for my subscribers, thank you very much. I appreciate you subscribing. It means a lot to me. And if you're new or you're just watching this video and you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Hmm? It be free. Not much things in life are free, but subscribing to a channel is. And so is ringing that bell and selecting all for your notifications so you get notified when I upload a video. And it doesn't cost you anything to like the videos or share them. So today's video is going to be very short, very short indeed. Today is day 21 that I have no opiates and a, okay, this part of it, I couldn't feel better. My eyes have color, you see, color, <laughs> sorry, my eyes have color and like, I did not realize how much they were sucking the life out of me. Like, my eyes were just pale, like, almost, like, they were the palest gray, like I was dead. And it's been that way for years. So, I'm feeling better. I'm feeling excited about life. I'm feeling excited about it getting warmer and me being able to get out in my garden or out around my pond and um, <clears throat> do some landscaping, maybe plant some fruit trees. I'm just excited. Do I look excited? Probably not because it's 741 in the morning and I've been up for about three and a half hours. So, and my stomach is rumbling because I'm starving. I've just been too lazy to get up and go to the kitchen because it's cold. So, something happened to me in the comments. I, it was one of the videos, and um, I kind of wanted to address it. Somebody stated, and I'm paraphrasing because I don't remember word for word what was said. That I abuse opiates and I'm I might as well admit I'm an addict. It made me feel very sad. So why would somebody say something like that? They don't even know me. Right? Like if you knew me, you would know that's not the case. Like, I remember a long time ago, and it's been about 18 years ago, I was on fentanyl patches. And um, <clears throat> I was going through the problem of having really bad night sweats. Well, three times I was ODing on them. And so I told my doctor, I can't take these anymore. I mean, I can't use them anymore. Because X, Y, Z, right? So they put me on um, Darvacet, which out of opiates besides Tylenol 3 with codeine, it's like the le le lesser of all evils. And it worked on me so well. Then they took it off the market and they started with trying me on a long-acting morphine plus a short-acting morphine. They tried me on Vicodin, and then it went to Percocet. I would have rather been on the Darvacet, but, you know, and everybody's body's different. My mom was the same way. I miss my mom today.
anyways, so, but, so, somebody accused me of being a drug addict, then I abuse opiates. Well, I can't be abusing opiates because I'm not taking any. If I was psychologically addicted, then I would out, be out there trying to score. Right? I would be out there trying to score. It just is what it is. I mean, today's day 21. I'm not having any withdrawal symptoms anymore. They're gone. They are absolutely gone. Like, I feel normal. I feel just happy. Happy to be alive and happy that I don't have a monkey on my back. Happy that my fibromyalgia pain is, has, listen, <laughs> I could barely roll over in bed some days. It was so bad, especially when it rained. Well, we've had rain, we had rain three days in a row and then nothing and then snow. Same thing, snow, rain, don't matter. Well, I had some pain. Some. Didn't say all my fibromyalgia pain was gone. Because most days it is. But there's days when I have some. So, I attribute that to my, my regimen I'm on, my routine. And... My moringa oil, my moringa oil, or the capsules, same thing, and my CBD oil, which if you look at the crack, look, I have enough for maybe if I could squeeze two days out of it, but probably today. So I'm going to be a couple days without it, one day. Two days, one day. So, you know, I attribute to that, and then I have my pain balm um, for when my restless leg and arm syndrome is horrific, and it has been because of I have a sinus infection, I've been taking cold medicine, and the antihistamines exacerbates. The restless leg syndrome. So what do you do? You don't take the cold medicine if you don't want the pain. Right? So I rub my legs and arms down. Yep. And that's what I would do. I'd make sure I took my Moringa and my CBD oil. And that's how I got through it. So we'll see how today goes because I'm not sure that I need cold medicine anymore. And I would be happy not to take it because it's a medicine that I don't need to be taking. And I need to find natural cold medicine. You know, like elderberry and maybe before I made ginger, lemon, and honey and kept it in the fridge. I'm going to get on that one. So I got extra honey. I just need to go buy organic lemons and some organic ginger. Because I have organic, non-filtered honey. And you just layer it. Slice, layer, slice, layer, slice, layer. Sometimes I mince my ginger. I love the ginger in it. Oh, crunch, crunch, crunch. It tastes so good. Maybe I'm a weirdo. I don't know. But I love the taste of ginger. Okay. So. Day 21. A frightful mess because I just woke up. Day 21, no opiates. Gonna get a thicker skin because as my channel goes on, I am sure there's gonna be more and more people like that one person. I did reply to the comment. I was not hateful. I will never reply to a comment like that again. 
I'm not going to block it unless it's so vile. You know what I mean? De you know what I mean? Delete it. Unless it's vile. Because it's not just me that sees this stuff. It's, you know, my family, my friends, and all of you. And, like, you don't need to come to my channel to be reading vile comments, right? This is supposed to be a very positive channel of us working together to see what works for you, what works for me. Can it work for either one of us? Give it a try. There's lots of things to try. There's lots of natural things to try. I do know that during the summer, I swim in my pond at least twice a day. Unless it's raining or, you know, it's super cold out because in the pond, you know, I have to wait like four or five days after rain, heavy rain to swim because it's just too cold, even in the dead of summer. But I do know that that always made my fibromyalgia better. Always. Was it a permanent fix? No. It's going to take X, Y, and Z together to control my symptoms. Because we all know fibromyalgia is not curable. Hell, half the diseases I have, none of them are curable. They're treatable. But I'm thinking... I'm going to do more research about leaky gut syndrome. I'm going to do a video on it. And I'm going to start... Um, it's not a treatment, but a treatment for it. And, um, you know, whatever it says you got to do to get rid of it. Because I did test positive for um, uh, Candida. Which is, if you have candida, you probably have leaky gut. So, if I can do that, my chickens are pop, 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 pop. I think somebody's laying an egg. And it sounds like somebody didn't get put into the big chicken coop last night. Because it's too close to my bedroom window to hear. Yeah, and go out and let them out anyway. So there's all of that. And for my subscribers that are um, or non-subscribers or just people watching, I have another YouTube channel called um, Kimber B Vlogging. I'll link it in the description below. Check out that channel because um, I'm having a major giveaway, a fabulous giveaway. I have lots of Fenty stuff. I have lots of other stuff to give away. There's two two winners for second place. And um, again, I love ooh, so de Janeiro. I gotta wipe this off. And it is the Bum Bum Cream. And this one is da 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 da. 240 milliliters, 8.1 fluid ounces. I'm getting good at converting. I mean, that one I should know. Um, so that's for first place. And for second place, you're going to get 150 milliliter, which is mm, five ounces, I think, or something like that. It's a new size by Sol de Janeiro. It's on their website. I haven't seen it on Sephora, so or Beautylish, or anywhere else. Just there. So it's the next step down. Otherwise, the second place would be getting a 75 milliliter. See the big difference? Right? So make that so you can enjoy it. Because I love sharing it because I have such a profound love for it. It's intoxicating. It sinks into your skin. It has made my hands look a lot younger than they used to look. Look, they used to be horrible. I used to look like this, my hands like like they were 65, 70 years old. Now they don't. And um, it just smells so good. 
It makes, the, that smell makes me happy. <coughs> I still have this. So, <coughs> they just came out with a perfume with the same scent. It's their Rosa 62. And it's um, $78 for one ounce. But I will be getting it. So far, it's only on the Sol de Janeiro site. It's not on Sephora. It's very new. So if you order anything from Sol de Janeiro, they're giving you samples of it. And samples of their Joya, or the shampoo and conditioner, which I might have. It's very fabulous. It's time for me to put another order in there. I'm stacking up my points. Stacking up my points. And I'm waiting for Black Friday. Because you, they have like a 25% off sale. And then they give you a free, the tiny baby bum bum cream. Oh, Ellie. Anyways. So, I'm stacking up my points for that. Because 40 points is 40, I mean, 400 points is $40 off. That's a lot of money off. So, anyway, um, if you live in Northeast Indiana, the weather's kind of yucky today. I don't know if we have rain in our forecast or not, but it looks kind of yucky. This whole C virus. I'm not going to say it because they're going crazy with it. But, um, excuse me, Roxy, just wait a minute, please, honey. Um, I believe our country needs to go on lockdown completely because there's people running around with this virus, don't even know they have it, infecting everybody. Just saying. And it's time to be kind. If you have a neighbor or an elderly friend, please make sure they're taken care of. Or an elderly relative. You know, they shouldn't be out and about in this crap. Because they will get very ill. People like us. Because people with fibromyalgia have uh, autoimmune diseases. Normally, 80 to 90% of us do. And, um... That means your immune system is completely compromised and you don't need to be out in this crap either. I mean, if you must go to the grocery store you, or the doctor or hospital, you must. I would stay away from the hospitals because if you weren't that sick going in, you're going to be sicker when you get there. You're going to catch something because it is cold and flu season after all. An allergy season is he is in full effect, so that means sinus infections. It means pneumonias. It means all kinds of things, and then the C virus. So please be careful. Take care of each other. Take care of your health. Make sure you're taking some hot Epsom salts baths. If you don't have Epsom salts, whew, uh, there's places that still have some. And take the hot Epsom salts bath. Get you some good capsation cream or something to rub yourself down. And keep your butts inside. Don't be going around people. Because you don't know what you don't know. Somebody may not have symptoms and not know they have it and you're going around and you don't know that they have it. So you don't know what you don't know and what you don't know could hurt you. Okay, so I told you this is going to be short. Uh, it's already 19 and a half minutes. I'm so sorry. Ramble, ramble, ramble. That's how my brain is every night. Chatty Kathy. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so on that note, I bid you a farewell. I wish you well. I wish you health. More importantly, just stay healthy, my friends. Stay inside. And until next time. <laughs>